I'm Dr. Heather Kilmeyer. I'm the bassoon professor at East Tennessee State University, and this is the seventh grade prepared piece. Both of these excerpts are a bit tricky for bassoon, um, in part because they have a lot of uh, moving motion between Fs and Gs, and that's pretty tough to do. So it's a good idea to practice moving from F to G and aiming for smoothness and trying to keep our fingers moving at the same time when we reach for the G. It's also a good idea when you play your open F to try to keep your fingers close to the tone holes. That's pretty common for us to play with flappy fingers, but if we keep our fingers close, they have less distance to travel to reach the G. You might notice that your A's crack when you articulate your A's, and this is a common problem with bassoon. So if you don't have a private teacher who's teaching you how to flick your A's, it's a good idea to try playing your A's half hold and with your whisper key. This can help keep those A's from cracking. Also, we have a lot of G's in this first excerpt, and they tend to be very sharp, the G's on the fourth space. So you should try playing your G using the resonance key added. This should basically be your go-to G fingering all the time. So see if you can get used to playing your G with the resonance key. In the Andante selection, we have a lot of A-flats, and these are probably the most finicky notes on the bassoon. Um, they basically need a little bit less half hole than you would use for a G or an F-sharp. So you might experiment with playing your A-flats by themselves to see if you can get a clean articulation without cracking. <laughs> 